Hey guys, I'm back again with another book haul and today I'm going to be going through all of the books that I received in the month of February. I have quite a few books here, some of them I received for review and I've also picked up a few because I am back at uni this semester and I'm doing a feminism and literature course so I've been starting to purchase some of the texts so you'll be seeing some more of my uni readings probably in the next book haul. The three books so far that I have for my feminism and literature course are The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf and the tagline for this book is how images of beauty are used against women. So it's going to be going into different areas such as religion, sex, violence, as far as I can tell by the chapter titles in this book. I also have The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. So I think that this one is kind of a science fiction dystopian novel and I think that in this world handmaids are only really valuable if they are fertile. And I think that the main character Offred has to lie with the commander once a month and pray that she falls pregnant. I think she's also only allowed to leave the house once a day to go to the markets where the signs are now pictures because women aren't allowed to read, which sounds quite interesting. I'm actually really looking forward to picking this one up. And I also have A Room of One's Own and Three Guineas by Virginia Woolf. I'll only be studying A Room of One's Own, but this edition just has both of them. And A Room of One's Own is an essay which I believe talks about women as writers and characters in fiction. At the beginning of the month I also went to a book launch and I couldn't help myself. I had to pick up one of the books that was being launched. So once again I kind of broke my project five. That was the only time that I did this month. I just did it once. I'm getting back on track. Anyway, the book that I picked up was My Sister Rosa by Justine Lablestia, which I immediately started reading after the event and finished a day or two later. Spoiler alert, it was amazing. I'll talk a little more in detail in my wrap up. But this one is about Che. Him and his family are moving to New York. They've kind of been hopping around the globe as his parents start up new businesses and companies and then sell them. And his younger sister is a psychopath. He knows it, but nobody else seems to pick up on the fact that his younger sister is is a psychopath. She loves to cause trouble and mischief and really does not care about the consequences, which results in some kind of creepy, uncomfortable, and even terrifying situations. Like I said, I loved it. I'm not going to say any more just yet. I also received two copies of a particular book, and that is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I was sent a copy by the publisher, Alan Unwin, and I received the other copy in the February YA Chronicles box for this month. As you guys may know, this is one of my most anticipated reads for this year, so I'm so excited that I now have this in my possession, and I happen to have two as well. So, lucky for you guys, I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway to offer up one of these copies to you guys, which is really exciting, because how beautiful Oh my gosh, look at the cover. How amazing is it? Oh my gosh. So the main character, Amani, lives in this town called Dustwalk, which is not the place you'd want to be if you were female, orphaned, and poor, which I'm guessing Amani is all three. But alas, it is her home. And one day a mysterious foreigner turns up and she uses this opportunity to run away with him. I think there also might be a little bit of magic. There's also the threat of the Sultan army, and there's going to be some epic rebellion in the middle of the desert. Sounds amazing, looks amazing. I hope it really is amazing. I also went to the grand opening of a bookstore in Sydney and that is the Beachside Bookshop on the Northern Beaches and during the day if you bought a book you got to enter a raffle and the prizes of which were um, some books and things like that. So I got a free book at the event. I didn't actually buy anything for myself. I bought a copy of My Sister Rosa for a friend for their birthday because I needed to share the love of this book. Anyway, the book that I received is A Single Stone by Meg McKinley. So this one sounds kind of interesting. So apparently in this world, it's every girl's dream to become a part of the line. So it is seven women who tunnel into the mountains in order to find the harvest. And it's a very appraised position. There's no work that is more important than being on the line. And the main character, Jenna, is the leader of the line. And I don't know anything else apart from the fact that she discovers something which might unravel her world or something along those lines. Sounds pretty good. It was the 2015 winner for the Queensland Literary Awards. So this is an Australian novel. I am very curious about it. I'm looking forward to it. And then in addition to Rebel of the Sands, I received a few more books for review. Ellen and Unwin sent me a copy of The Stars at October Bend by Glenda Millard. From what I can kind of gather from the synopsis, Alice might have a speech impediment, I believe. Uh, she kind of writes about how it is to have perfect thoughts, but it comes out in slurred 
speech. And then we also have Manny James, who goes for runs at night to escape his past. And he sees Alice sitting on the roof of her house one night. And I think he has a poem in his pocket, which he's sure that she'd written or something like that. So it might be kind of about these two characters' lives intertwining. Not entirely sure. That's what I'm kind of getting from the synopsis. So yeah, interested to see what this one's about. I also received Dream Fever by Kit Alloway. This was sent to me by Penguin Random House Australia. And I've had a bit of a read through the synopsis in the back, but it's left me a little bit confused, mainly because from what I've read here, I can't actually figure out who the main character is. I'm not sure if they're named or if I'm just reading this wrong. Um, so I'm not too sure, but I guess I'll find out what it is actually about when I get around to reading it. And the last book I received is Another Time and Place by Samantha Grosser. One of my roommates is a hairdresser and one of her clients is, I believe, Samantha Grosser. So this is her self-published novel, which she gave to me. And this is a World War II novel. If you guys know me, you know that I really enjoy World War II novels. I don't know what it is. I just really enjoy reading them. So I think this is set in England, but it has to do with an American pilot and an English lady that meet during the war. Heartbreak as you can imagine. So I'm actually really curious about this one. I love to have my heart broken by books for some reason, so this will probably satisfy that need. So those are all the books that I received in the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Are there any that you would personally recommend that you'd like to see bumped up on my TBR pile? If there's any of these that I would recommend to you, it would be My Sister Rosa because that's the only one I've read, but it's also really good as well. So if you want some more of my thoughts, look forward to my February wrap up. I'm considering doing a review of the book as well because I would love to share the love for it. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can do that. Anyway, that is all that I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.